Hello guys and welcome to another Hacker Rank warm-up problem. We're going to be looking at the birthday cake candle warm-up problem. You are in charge of the cakes for your niece's birthday and have decided the cake will have one candle for each year of her total age. When she blows out the candles, she will only be able to blow out the tallest ones. Your task is to find out how many candles she can successfully blow out. For example, if your niece is turning 4 years old, and the cake will have four candles of height four, four, one, three. She will be able to blow out two candles successfully since the tallest candles are of height four and there are two such candles. Complete the function below for the cake candles in the editor. It must return an integer representing the number of candles she can blow out. All right, so the following parameters are just an array of integers representing the candle height. All right, so n represents the total number of uh, candles on the cake, which is supposed to be her age, right? And um, rai is the maximum value that we can have stored in the array, okay? Hmm. All right, so this question, uh, just by thinking about it right now, uh, it's actually misleading because we're thinking with the example that they give up top that the maximum candle height has to be her age, but in fact, the maximum candle height has to be the uh, occurrences, okay? So the max occurrences of that actual number. So this actually makes this problem a lot more easier than I thought it was when I first read it. All right, so let's actually go ahead and implement this. Uh, this shouldn't be a very tough one. All right, so like I said, I thought that this was gonna take in a parameter called um, uh, age right and then we can just go ahead and filter it that way but that's not the case so what do we want to do um, we need an array because this is this is a typical uh, counting problem and let's just do this is going to be the possible height so I'm going to do the possible h and this is going to equal to a new int array and we want to pass in the maximum value that this can hold. Since we're doing counting, we need the indices to hold the uh, count value for each number. So let's do an uh, in here and let's do uh, math uh, power and let's pass in uh, 10 and pass in seven because that's the uh, array i value, right? That's what they give us here for the constraint. And since it's starting from one, uh, we probably need to add one here so that we create that value because it's going to be one less. So we need to add one to the end. All right. Let me pull this up here so we can see clearly. And make this bigger. Nope, it won't. All right. So uh, we just need to keep uh, a max count. So I'll do it in max is uh, going to be equal to zero for now. And then we just need to go ahead and go over the array. So I'll do int a, and I use the for each uh, for each loop. And we want to do a possible h, right? Um, and then we want to pass an a here, and we want to increment that uh, index location. And then we want to say that the max is uh, it's going to be equal to uh, math dot uh, max and they want to do max and they want to pass in the count right for that possible uh, spot so we're going to do uh, pause h and pass in a here I think it should take care of that part of the problem um, and then we just need to return uh, the max here Actually, counting problems are one of my favorite problems to do um, because they're very easy to understand uh, conceptually and solutions are very easy. That means that this problem, we could have four or more broken it down into into uh, smaller, into smaller uh, parts, right? We could break in the array into halves and apply this to it and it will still work and it will produce a faster solution, right? But for the sake of completion and for the sake that I'm doing this just for warm ups, um, spending too much time on this, it's it's not the goal for this, uh, for these uh, problems. So let's go ahead and let's run this and see 
uh, if this is right. And this is right, and let's submit the results. Submit the code for the final test. And it's all correct. All right, guys, this will be it for this video. I'll see you guys on the next one more problem. Bye-bye.